G'day, it's the 30th of August here and in southern New Zealand that's the almost the beginning of spring and it's a really exciting day for me. I'm about to set up my first cloak board hive ready to do a graft. Let me take you through the process of setting that hive up. Obviously the preparation started some time ago. I've been feeding this hive and building it up and getting it ready so that it's strong enough to take a graft and produce great queens. Now the reason that I'm doing it now, which is just a wee bit later than when I did it last season, is that I've been waiting until I see some drones. A couple of days ago I spotted drones in some hives, not in this apiary, there's still no drones here, so the graft that I do, the queen cells will have to be placed in that apiary. It may not be the drones in that apiary that the queen mates with, but the fact that there are drones in that apiary says to me that there are drones in that area. As per usual, this early graft is a practice run to brush the cobwebs out of the process so that I can be sure that I've got all my gear set up properly, that I can remember how to do a graft, and that everything's ready to go for when the main grafting starts in two or three weeks time. Okay, let me run you through the process of what I'm about to do. I've got a queen excluder in here now, which is set up to take a cloak board. So all the brood will be in this bottom box. There's a three quarter super on top, which I'm gonna remove by, but to do that, I'll have to push the bees down. So I'll put a bee escape on there. That'll just condense the bee population into these two boxes. I'm going to lift some brood up out of this bottom box into the top box to draw the nurse bees up for when the graft goes in and then I'm going to put the feeder back in, on, on top. Obviously during that process I'll put the cloak board in. So I'll start by taking the lid and the feeder off. Quite a few, quite a few bees up here in this honey super that's on top which I just left on there to give them plenty of food. It's quite early in the morning here and uh, it's quite possible that these bees will be a wee bit grumpy with me. When I say early in the morning, about 10 o'clock, but we had a light frost this morning, so it's still quite cool. However, I waited until the bees were flying before I came out to do this. I've swiped quite a bit of brood out of this hive and replaced it with empty frames. Having just taken that box of honey off, I'm going to have to make sure I keep the feeder topped up on this hive. By doing this, I can check to make sure the queen isn't up here, and she definitely isn't. Okay, I'm going to pull some of these frames that have got quite a lot of nectar in them to out and put them to one side because they'll replace the brood frames down below. I also want to make sure in the bottom box that there's some empty drawn comb so that the queen's got somewhere to lay. I don't want to give this box too much smoke because I'm going to have to find the queen and make sure I leave her down below. But I do need to remove this bridging comb. Don't want to squash too many bees while I'm doing it. So my next task is to find the queen. It's good for a brood that can go up. It's mainly cat. I won't lift it up into that next box until I'm sure I haven't got a queen on it. Now there she is, you won't see her from way back there, but she's got a white dot on her so she's easy to spot. He says, oh there she is, just here. Put that to one side, this into the top box. So I want most of the brood up here, but not necessarily all of it. I want to leave at least a frame down below to keep enough nurse bees down here to look after that queen. All right, that's half a frame of brood on the front half. Leave that down there. Put the queen back in. Check to make sure that she's still on this frame. 
Yep, she's there. So about a three quarters of a frame of brood down there. Right, the next job is to put the cloak board in. So those bees didn't get too upset, so I'm going to risk taking my veil off in order to talk to you. Hello girl. Legs full of pollen. Alright, so I'm doing this hive slightly differently to the way I would normally do a grafting hive. Normally I would I'd be starting out with a hive that's got brood in both boxes. I'd put a queen excluder in, put brood up the top and wait four days and then put the be escaping. In this case I know the queen's down below because I haven't waited those four days these bees up here between now and when I do the graft are quite likely to produce queen cells so I'm going to have to be ultra careful to make sure that I take that I check and I take any queen cells out. Now I know I only put three frames of brood in there most of it was capped so with a bit of luck there won't be too many queen cells. There's two more things I have to do. I have to close off the front entrance and I have to open the back entrance in that bottom box. That noise upset them a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Come on girls, out of the way. Just pop this plug out. Check to make sure it is actually open in there. Yep, we're all set to go. It's a day later and before I go and get a frame of eggs out of the uh, grafting queen hive, I'm going to just check this hive Firstly to see if I can take this three quarter box off or not, it's only been a day so it might not have been long enough and also to check to see if there are any emergency cells in this box down here. If there are I'll tear them down, I'm going to check them again in two days time. Looks to me like this box is pretty empty. So the bee escape's done its job, it was quite cool last night, that's just a solid box of honey. Oh no, look at that. Got a small population of bees haven't gone down yet. But they're right down on the lid. As you can see now this box is crammed packed full of bees. Let me bring the camera over and show you a bit closer. Having said that, from experience this hive isn't quite ready, it isn't quite full enough of bees to be a really good grafting hive but this is just a first off trial run so I'm not too worried if I don't have a very good success rate. Now I found the queen, I fit, let me put it this way, I found a queen and put her in the bottom box. As you probably are well aware, it's not uncommon for hives to have more than one queen in them. So I have to keep an eye on this hive. If there's two queens in this hive and one of them's still in the stop box, then the whole thing is going to be a washout. But we'll cross that bridge if we get to it. So I'm going to pull a frame and leave it out because I need room for the grafting frame to go in. 
just shake the bees off that frame. In theory, any emergency cells that they make after 24 hours would have to be on the brood that I lifted up because mm -hmm. this hive had a queen excluder on it before so the queen hasn't been in this top box before. However, I'm going to check every frame. One rogue virgin queen roaming around this box will completely destroy all our efforts. So where would we get a rogue virgin queen from? If there's an emergency cell uh -huh. in here and I don't spot it. It'll emerge and that'll be the rogue queen I'm talking about. Now this is one of the brood frames I brought up. So in order to check thoroughly that there are no queen cells on here, I'm going to shake all the bees off. Some of them are going to fly and they're going to have to find their way back in. Have a look underneath the strip. There we go. So it hasn't taken them long. See that? Three emergency cells already forming. So you can avoid this by leaving queen excluder in, lifting the brood up four days before you do your graft. Now just because I'm tearing down emergency cells now doesn't mean that there won't be more formed. They can keep forming emergency cells in here for the next four days because these frames had eggs laid in them yesterday. Okay, that's the space that the grafting frame is going to slot down into. Alright, let's go and get a frame of eggs. So this is the breeder queen that I used at the tail end of last season. She produced some pretty good queens. She came through the winter very strongly. I've robbed quite a lot of brood out of this hive for, to boost other hives. So what I'm looking for now is a frame of eggs. Eggs and larvae, of course. <laughs> I might have to go into the bottom box to find them. Okay, so that's laid out right through there with eggs. There's my queen. So she's up here doing her job right now, but that's today's eggs. I want four-day-old larvae. That frame might do the job. Okay, I'm going to take that frame. Even though it's got capped brood in the middle of it, around the outside is uh, eggs and larva of all ages. And I only need about 20, the right age, 24. Now I'm using a bee brush because I don't want to shake this frame. Right, let's take this round and do a graft. So there it is. That's the first grafted cell for the season. Thank you. 
Let's go and pop these into the hive. And then the job's just about done. All we've got to do after that, which I'll do off camera, is to take this frame and pop it back into the other hive. Now, I'm not going to show you the success that I have or failure on this graft in this video. If you want to see how it went, subscribe so you catch the next video. Thanks for watching.